Okay everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, being that the weather's really crap here in the UK at the moment, I thought I'd spend a bit more time on the Mr Vintage build. If I turn the camera around, you can see what I'm up to. And uh, today, that is, I'm going to make a latch for this um, hatch on the top of the model here. You can see I've 3D printed two 6mm location pegs and glued that into the, the front firewall. Um, and actually on, on the piece that goes into there you can see the 6mm holes I've drilled and that will locate if I can sort of put that on you'll see what I'm up to that fits on there like so the two pegs going through hold the front end down but now I need to make like a spring loaded latch uh, to go on the back the type that where you move it and it uh, retracts the pin and sort of releases the back end that's what I want to do so I thought I'd have a go at making one on the 3d printer uh, what I've done I've drawn a master plan that's what uh, I actually want to make it's uh, made up of two parts you've got a base and a sliding sort of portion that goes into this slot uh, and then you've got a metal pin that goes right the way through with a spring to make it like spring loaded um, so if I take you over to the CAD software that I've drawn it up in, which is uh, Fusion 360. It's a great free download off the internet. And that's the actual base that I'm going to make. Uh, obviously, it's made out of plastic. We're doing it on the 3D printer. The other part will fit into that slot and slide up and down uh, with the pin going through the hole. Uh, whoops, where are we? A hole here, right the way through. Uh, you've got the four holes in the corner to actually uh, screw it down into the model now if I move the timeline along hopefully you're going to be able to see how it was drawn up so if I go step by step you'll see what I actually did that's the actual base of it then the next the centre section then the two columns at either end. Radius is in the corner there just for strength. There goes the slot in the middle which the sliding part will go up and down on. Hole straight through the middle, that's for the sliding pin. Little radius on the top, that's just to make it pretty to be honest. Uh, radius is on the corners there. And then chamfer all the way around just to take the sharp edge off. Counterbore in the one column there at the back, that is to take the spring so the spring doesn't move about. And then you've got your four holes that secure it down into the model. So that's the base part. Obviously you've got the sliding part that goes here. I've drawn that up at the same time so hopefully I can show you that. So that is the sliding part. This, this piece goes into the slot. Um, the radius round the top here that I'm showing with the mouse that just blends in with the, the top of those two posts on the, the other part and then you've got a little tiny counter bore to take the spring so that's what we're up to now if I take you over to the 3d printer I've actually got the base part uh, printing as we speak so open my little cabinet and hopefully we can see what's going on if I can get close enough now you can see the part being printed that actual base plate which is looking pretty good so we'll look down and see how far it's got it's 93% done it's taken just over an hour to get to that uh, stage so that's about it um, I'll do another little video a bit later on when we've got that part off and I've printed the T piece the sliding piece and um, I'll show you it assembled and hopefully show you it working. <laughs> 